Hello everyone and welcome to the Scuffed Kitchen. Today we are making a very special recipe, completely written by ChatGPT. I asked for a midweek meal with a steak and this is what it gave me. In case you don't know what ChatGPT is, it's a free chatbot made by OpenAI, which is based on the GPT-3 language model. Essentially, you can ask it almost anything and it will happily oblige. Please tell me the funniest joke ever. As an AI language model, I don't have the ability to determine the funniest joke ever, since humor is subjective and varies from person to person. However, I can offer you a classic joke that many people find amusing. Why did the tomato turn red? Because it saw the salad dressing. <laughs> But, can it write coherent recipes? This is what I will find out today. A quick disclaimer, I changed the order of operations a little bit for the purposes of filming. The order proposed by ChatGPT is a little bit challenging. Alright, as you can see, today's recipe is Surf and Turf. The ingredients are a couple of prawns, peeled and cleaned, a piece of steak, two tomatoes, two jalapenos, I wasn't able to get them as usual, so I went for generic chilies again, one lime, two peaches, half a red onion, salt and pepper, olive oil, and as a side dish, salted tortilla chips. Lastly, cilantro as garnish, which I forgot to fill. As always, start by sharpening your knife. You should do this every single time before you cook something to keep your knife nice and sharp. Next, I'll try to dice the peaches. I made sure to thoroughly wash them before cutting. However, I quickly realized that they are not perfectly ripe yet, which isn't that big of a deal. They are still fruity and flavorful after all. However, it makes removing the core a little bit harder as you can see me struggle. Yes, let me just mush some pieces instead of cutting them. Afterwards, I'll set the diced peaches aside in a large bowl. Make sure it's not metal. Next are the tomatoes. According to the recipe, I'll need them diced, which is fairly easy to do. As you can see, my knife isn't sharp enough to get the fine small ends here. So that means it needs a proper sharpening with a whetstone. Let me know down in the comments if a video about proper knife sharpening would be interesting to you. After the tomatoes, I quickly diced the red onion. Luckily, I got this piece left over from a previous dish. Once the onion is cut, I move on to the chili. According to the recipe, these are supposed to be jalapenos, but as I said, those aren't really available here, so generic chilies will have to do. By the way, I don't remove the seeds, because they aren't that hot anyway, and I think including them creates a more interesting texture in the salsa later. For the cilantro, I just roll it up tightly before chopping the ball of herbs swiftly. Try to cut, not to crush. Lastly, I just cut the lime in half for squeezing later. And by later, I mean right now. Just squeeze the juice over the bowl into one hand so we're able to catch the seeds that might fall out. Once that's done, add the salt and thoroughly stir the salsa. Give it a quick taste test, then set it aside for the flavors to melt. With that out of the way, let's prep the meats. The steak is already at room temperature and, according to the AI, a quick cover with olive oil, salt and pepper is enough. I also do the same with the prawns. And that's it. A bigger bowl here would have been better, but oh well. This works. Somewhat. To cook the steak, I use a much too small pan on the stove. Add a bit of vegetable oil and let everything heat up until it's smoking hot. Then I add the meat and let it cook for 2 minutes on each side. I was kind of skeptical whether this time isn't too long, 
but the AI is in charge, not me. After cooking, I put the steak aside to rest and retain its juices while I finish up the prawns. I use a new pan, heat that up on medium and add the prawn oil mix. After one flip they are already done, so I take them out quickly. Otherwise they could become a bit rubbery. Now it's time to cut the steak in strips. I forgot to get a good angle, but as you can see it is a smidgen too much cooked for my personal taste. This looks somewhat like a medium, maybe even medium well, while I would have preferred a medium rare. For plating, I put the meat in the middle, add the prawns and then put the salsa in front. Lastly, I just add the chips per the AI's suggestion. And with that, we're done. Well, there you have it. A recipe written by a chatbot. I did not expect it to work out this well as it did. The peaches and the salsa are actually a really good touch. The fruitiness passed excellently with the meat, so overall I would rate this an 8 out of 10. All of this is definitely not something I would have devised myself, but in the end this is an unusual, but great, midweek meal. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this AI experiment and while you're here, please like and subscribe. See you next time!